Hi, my name is Mark Waite and welcome to Mark My Words, where we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can be up to date and informed of when I upload a new video, you'll, you'll know about that. You know, when we face into a serious life setback, sometimes it has the potential to derail us on the inside. I went through a period where I was absolutely derailed internally uh, because of my external world had came crashing down around me. And so I found deep down I was struggling. And what I did to, to rebuild, I want to share with you today in, 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 in a few simple steps, because it's important to understand that we have a soul and a body in life, the inner circle, the outer circle. Okay, and I, I, uh, you, you have an inner circle and an outer circle, right? And so we have basically uh, in here, we have a, the inner circle and then the outer circle. So I found that for me, when I discovered that my inner circle, the health of my inner circle determined the health of my outer circle. The first thing I had to do was define who was in my inner circle, because I'm talking about now people, people who are important to you. Obviously, you know, family, children, brothers, sisters, parents, people who are really close. And these are people who are on your inner circle. And the, 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 the degree in which these relationships are healthy so the health of your internal relationships will determine the and influence the health of your outer circle relationships. So my number one relationship internally is my relationship with my wife, Kate. Her and I have been married now almost six years. And, you know, back, something I never thought I'd ever do was get married again after my divorce. But it's been such a blessing. So the number one relationship in, inside this inner circle is my relationship with my wife. And uh, that's Kate. And then, obviously, my relationship with my four, four children. Uh, we call them J, J, H, and P. That's their names, Jack, Jesse, Hannah, and Pippa. So these relationships are really important because... Because if they are fractured or they are unhealthy with any of these guys in my inner circle, then my external outer circle relationships will be affected. So these are everyone else out here, right? And, you know, I guess it's, it's really um, easy to understand that, you know, with social media, I find that people are struggling to go deep in relationships. It's because we spend so much time connecting socially on the various platforms with people that because it's of its very nature, it's difficult to go deep in any form of real relationship with anyone socially on a social platform. It's not until you actually are face to face, eyeball to eyeball, and you actually have allocated time with people who, are, who you want in your inner circle, do you actually have an opportunity then to, um, to go below the surface um, and get to any level of depth of qu or quality of relationship? So, you know, with Kate and I, we, we're intentional around allocating time because it has to be planned in. If it's not planned in, it, it, it doesn't happen. Everything else competes with the the time that is needed for a healthy marriage to thrive. Now you may be facing right now uh, a season in your life where you are find yourself single. You may have been married once before. Chances are, if you found me on this channel, you you are you you've been drawn to the channel because you're navigating through a real rough season, tough season, hard season in your life. I understand how you feel. I've been there. I know what that's like. So um, there's a whole bunch of videos I have on this channel around navigating this tough season in your life. But eventually, the good news is you come out of that season and you enter into a spring season 
at the, the season of winter into spring. And so you now start to heal a lot of what's going on in your life. Those inner circle relationships uh, need to be, you need to be aware of the fact that the health of those are really important to have any kind of chance of having a healthy relationship outside with everyone else. So I allocate, number one, quality time or dedicated time with no distractions to these inner circle relationships. And for me, it's really simple. It's my wife, my four children. uh, These are people who I really find, you know, God has given me and blessed me with. uh, And I I find that I, I, I cannot spend quality time and get to the level of depth of relationship with these four beautiful people in my world without actually allocating the time and eliminating distractions. So what I love to do with the girls, particularly my daughters, is to have date times or date breakfasts or date morning teas and just go out for coffee and have a a bite to eat and talk. Just them and me, her and I. Um, And that way we can get to some kind of, you know, conversation. It doesn't have to be premeditated and in depth. You, you don't go into these these date, these date times with a, a real intention to go deep, but allocate the required time with people on your inner circle to spend intentional time. It doesn't have to be hours. It doesn't even have to be uh, any defined amount of time. Just allocate that time. Have a, just a meet up. And uh, for Kate and I as husband and wife, we have date nights, right? Every fortnight we have allocated in our diary, normally on a Friday night or a Saturday night, date nights where we actually, you know, we uh, go out for dinner, perhaps, not always, or we have dinner at home. It's generally takeaway. You know, we, we get it bought in because on date nights, it's really about, for us, what works is having an open fire if it's in the, having a log fire if it's in the wintertime, uh, a glass of something nice and we then get takeaway board in and we just have some music going and some quality time where we just talk about us and uh, we 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 have conversation and it just it's great around just planning planning our future and talking about the future and talking about you know our children talking about um, our lives uh, internally right we don't talk about work on a date night we decide we consciously decided that we weren't going to talk about work because you know, work comes up in so many conversations of ours through the week, um, obviously, because we, we now are in business together. So for us, what works is having a date night where we just intentionally don't talk about work, although if it does come up, you know, when you first start out doing this, it, it, can, it does have a habit of creeping in the conversation. But just, you know, there's so much more to us as a couple than what we do with work. You know, there's family, there's children, there's each other. We talk about how we're traveling together as a couple, you know, and areas of our life that we could improve or areas of our life that we want to improve in that can create a more intimate, closer relationship around communication. So that's important, having that allocated time. For us, it works fortnightly. For you, make sure, you know, when you do end up in a new relationship, and these principles apply for you right now, even though you may not be in a romantic relationship right now, but you do have people in your world who are really important to you. If you have children, obviously, they're important. So allocate some time one-on-one, you and them, okay? Now, if you've got more than one child, can I encourage you to, uh, yes, have together time, obviously, but it's, for me, I, I found that it's nowhere near as effective and you don't get to a level of depth and quality of relationship of understanding your daughter or son uh, without having that one-on-one time. So if you have, in my case, four children now, the youngest one, Pippa, she's not quite up for date time just yet or date breakfast or date nights. She will be one day because she's only 18 months right now, but the oldest are in, are in the 20s. So obviously having that time with them, intentional time around half an hour, one hour, whatever it might be, meet at a restaurant, meet at a coffee shop, meet at a cafe, Um, just having that one-on-one time and talking about them and how you're traveling is really important because 
what I'm what I'm trying to do is make sure that these inner circle relationships are healthy or the soul of my relationship world is healthy. So ultimately then everyone else, the body of my relationship world is healthy. And you know, that helps me then when 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 I know I'm planning the nothing beats having that quality time and knowing that um, those inner circle relationships are healthy because if they're not, it's, a, it's, it's, it's very difficult to find peace. It's very difficult not to live with anxiety. You know, if you've got anxious moments in your life, it's generally the root cause of it is because of a fractured relationship. Uh, you know, more so than it could be a financial issue, more so than it could be uh, an issue outside your sphere of control. But it's generally because of a fraction relationship or relationships. And so how we how we minimize the risk of those relationships being fractured is actually allocating time to spend time together and just talking it out. And it's fantastic rather than just assuming everybody's okay. So, you know, life is short. Don't don't be uh, misled around the fact that life does happen quick. And, you know, I can't believe today, even today, some of them have got, or one of them's got a child of their own and they've got all got their own careers, right? So, so you know, they're busy, I'm busy, we're all busy, right? But it's all about priorities, you know? Uh, it's about making the allocated time for the things in your, you always find time for things that you uh, that are important to you. You always will. So it's a priority issue as opposed to a time issue. So making sure that the priority is this inner circle of health for you, these key relationships in your life. It could be a parent, could be a brother, could be a sister, it could be, you'll know who it is. Uh, it's generally less than, you can count them on less than two hands. Right, but whatever these key relationships are for you, your children, your family, these are the relationships you need to really be intentional around working on. Uh, it doesn't require a whole lot of time, but it does require some time, okay? Because the health of these inner circle relationships will determine the health of the external everyone else relationships. Don't rely on social media uh, to create healthy relationships externally right? It, it's just, it's very difficult to do that. It's more of a, it's like a, it's like, ha, it's like a mosquito bouncing along the top, bouncing along the surface, you know, they never penetrate the surface tension of the water because they're just bouncing along the top, right? And that's how a lot of these relationships externally are. Don't let these bouncing along the top relationship habits form on your inner circle because it is, it causes stress, it causes tension. If I lose any sleep at all, generally it's over um, my concern for the people who I love the most. And so I need to know that these relationships are as healthy as I could possibly make them. And so that requires time and intention. And there is nothing speaks I love you more than allocated time. You know, I think children spell love, T-I-M-E. So, so understand that it's the time that you've specifically allocated to those individual people in your world that are really close to you that speaks the loudest. You know, as the saying goes, you know, preach love and if you must, use words, right? So what that's saying is that, you know, when you communicate, it's what you do as opposed to what you say. So if you are genuinely, you know, if you genuinely love those people on your inner circle, then you will want to, not have to, want to spend time with them. So do it. Don't let time, too much time elapse where you look back and go, wow, I haven't spent any intentional time with these guys on my inner circle because it will, the consequences of doing that are not worth it, right? The load you carry, the, 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 the guilt you'll carry, the, the anxiety you carry as a result of unhealthy internal relationships, right? is just a heavy one. So, you know, the, one of the best ways I've found to make sure that I remain healthy internally uh, and sleep well at night and have a sense of peace uh, as, a, as an individual is ensuring that these in, internal relationships remain healthy. And how I do that is I allocate time to these key people. Not a whole lot of people, but just a few key people because if they're healthy, the rest of the world seems to work out okay. 
So as I said, in the descriptions panel below, you will find a link to my 10 bold steps. Now these are 10 bold steps that I took to help me fast track my comeback from my serious life setback, my marriage and business collapse over 12 years ago now. They are yours today free in the descriptions panel below. Just click the link and that'll I will ask you for your email address and then that way I'll be able to email those 10 bold steps straight into your inbox and you'll have those for reference. I'm sure they'll help you fast track your comeback as well. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video.